got here is a 500 kilowatt generator. I took it off a government building. The uh, power plant blew out, um, so they upgraded it. I was left with uh, the old stuff. Tried selling it for a couple of years, but apparently it's not very valuable without a working power plant attached to it. So might as well tear into it, see what kind of copper I can get out of it and see if it's worth all the trouble. Well, let's dig in and see what happens. Take a look inside and see some pretty big windings. They look covered, so I'm gonna have to treat those and get rid of all the covering. We'll see uh, what that's gonna take when I get it out of there, but uh, it looks like quite a big amount of copper and quite a big armature going into it. And on the other side of the generator, it looks like there's a lot more copper involved on this side as well. So I'll take the outer housing out. We have aluminum wiring, aluminum contacts that came with it. And we still have all the electronics. This thing took a bit of a tumble when we were unloading it after the frost. I clear it out of the yard. So I'm not too worried about saving or salvaging the housings. Uh, we'll just concentrate on taking it off. Just like that. Got the main piece out. Alrighty. Looks like this piece is all jam packed full of goodies. It looks a little rusted as well. This thing's about uh, 30 years old. So, uh, start pulling out some bolts, hook up the gantry crane, and see how uh, difficult it is to pull this piece off. Good scrapper always keeps his eye out for anything of profit. Skipped a little bit of the video uh, taking this little piece off. I'm sure you could find a video of a dog humping a football somewhere else so you didn't need to see me doing it on here. Uh, although the second half I might turn into another uh, video on how to uh, swear in French Canadian. Uh, but I finally got it off with a few ignorant bolts. Um, looks like it's a press on housing. so. Uh, I'll work on pressing off uh, this entire uh, coil here and uh, we'll see where that brings us. Listen, I don't like this any more than you. But you gotta come off there. I just, I, you know, I like spending time with you, but we gotta be realistic. It's just, it's just not working out like this. And just like that, it's off.
Nice little chunk of aluminum. That's a big chunk of metal. Okay, so we have everything disassembled into its major components. Looks like we have some nice chunks of copper. Although, recuperating it and separating it looks like it's going to be quite a task. Especially inside of this barrel. There's a lot of copper, but it doesn't look like it was made to be disassembled very easily. I don't know why. So next step, we'll start uh, taking the copper out of all the components and we'll see how much more cussing that incurs.